Next up is our early access oh, slash God. beta of the year. Here's your category, Jason, man. You can Jason, finally take participate. it away. <laughs> Just rip my so, shirt off. <laughs> I don't think I played any early access. Except I played all of them. <laughs> I played <laughs> all Destiny. Played. This is up in the air. <laughs> Destiny. <laughs> is it still early access? As far as it did, on it. did the early access period have to start day. this year, or do we just say we're looking at the year? I think we have to look at the year. Okay. Because there are I've, some games that, that fit into this year that really excelled. Yeah. I mean, I, I'm, I'm all for what was your best early access experience or Yeah, because pre-game. that's the whole point of the category. Best pre gaming. <laughs> that's what we're going to start calling pre-gaming, it. Pre gaming gaming? Yep. Best yeah. pre gaming. Uh, best best pre gaming gaming. Uh, Destiny. That's the first one you thought of, right? Nope. <laughs> Evolve. <laughs> Evolve was good. Crypt Evolve. of the Necro Dancer. You playing Crossy Road, Cole? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> I already got my free gift. I got mine too. The Long Dark. Because mm. I know nothing about early access. Vagante? <laughs> I will educate Vigante. you. Am I saying that right? I don't yeah. play games yeah. so they're finished. Did you play that, Jason? The giant? Vagante? Yeah. Uh, I've seen it, yeah. Okay, this. I played it. The giant. Rim World. <laughs> oh, yeah. Rim World's Gang cool. Beasts. Oh, gang Beasts. Gang Beasts. That's good times right Hack there. and Slash. <laughs> I think they're good. Like beta might be, or early access might have been better than the final game. Platformer. Action platform. Bro Force. Ooh, Bro Force. Uh, I'm going to still put Mighty Number no. 9 really on the like list. It. Anybody else want to throw out anything? Looking at you, Jay. <laughs> um, early access, nope. Okay. Or does it, Is Mighty Number no. 9 playable, or does that not matter? Yeah, it's playable. Oh, I didn't realize that. It's basically done at this point. He just kept re- releasing stage by stage oh, by stage. I didn't realize that. It was a very good early access experience for me oh. as, a, as a backer. I backed it. Maybe I didn't back it uh, enough. I backed it too I don't much. Know. <laughs> Let's be honest here. It's not Mega Man. It's fine. Okay. Uh, nobody has anything else to add. Oh, man. Well, Look then. Coop, I... go. Uh, Crossy. Oh, what the <laughs> bird? Can we stop Damn one? Dr- Cross the road. Um, first <laughs> one in my sights is Hack and Slash. I think it was fun when they, like, literally you could break the game by... Breaking the game. Uh, the that was fun information. Hacking. Yeah, it was. That game's so much more fun in theory. Yeah, so. in theory, it seemed like a fun idea. Okay. Uh, I would maybe cut evolve. It was fun, but it wasn't like. Here's the reason why I'll cut it because when we tried to play it and we tried to play yep, it together, it was impossible. Yep. Yep. I didn't yep. play the most recent one, but yeah, impossible. I played the first. I didn't have any problems, but well, we were just trying to play together oh. in the same group, and it just did not happen. Yeah. It, it was it was good enough to confirm that I wanted to buy but it. I, yeah, but, but I like, yeah, I like the mechanics. I didn't. Yeah, it didn't blow me away. All right, so let's run down. I mean, I think Gang Base is so much more playable this year and so much more fun. I don't know. Like, I like the game Crypt of the Necro Dancer. I, I like don't it. know how their early access experience is really. I haven't really been paying attention to it. Like, if they're doing, I don't think they're making a big splash. Yeah, I don't know if anything's changed. A lot of these other games out. are like. It's kind of the support side of it, or the constant updates, yeah. and mm-hmm. I'm not seeing that with Necrodancer. It's just it is what it is, and it's good. Yeah. I don't understand why it's not out yet, but yeah. it's really good. That's yeah. that's very true. Necrodancer probably speaks to me, or it's one of the games on this list that speaks to me the most. But in terms of being early access beta of the year, like it came out, it was there, and then I've heard, or yeah, yeah. I've right. not been compelled right. to look more into it. Um, I don't know. Let's see. Starbound came on a little bit stronger. Ethan wrote about the long dark. So Vagante, I don't even, I don't know a damn thing. So I played, <laughs> <laughs> just defer to me. Anybody, so, somebody? Yeah. No? so Vagante, uh, it's like a platformer roguelike, and you just, you pick a class, you kind of go down into these caves, and you fight monsters, and you level up, and it it looks really good. It's got a nice style to it. It's got bow and arrow, so that's a plus always. Mm-hmm. No elephants, though. No. Unfortunately, exactly. not yet. So not in caves. They can get on it. <laughs> Cave elephants. Cave elephants. Get on those elephants. A possibility. Cave elephants. So it just sounds like a game that I would enjoy, and, and I heard about it early on before it made it onto Steam's green light, I believe. So now it's available through early access there. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And so I just, I just happened to find out about them through maybe some other site's list of games to look into, and it just seems like a really solid game, something that I'm probably going to buy soon or when it comes out. Cool. I don't 
think it holds up necessarily okay. just some of those though but um yeah in terms of some of these other games i get, just describing it now i don't know if there's there's no hook that i feel that i can really you know put in your guys minds that will make vagante you're not going near my mouth either so <laughs> that's where uh, the hobo's property <laughs> 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 okay so come vagante <coughs> That game looks real cool. I, I just saw. I just. I'm just looking through this list. There's so many other games I want to fight uh, for Bro over Force. Oh, over Mighty Number no. Nine. I'm not gonna really. The. Say I'm fight can we? Can we? Sp- I'm fighting for Bro Force because Bro they Force, can't fucking update and that Bro thing Force looks is right. amazing. Can we talk about Destiny? Because you didn't buy into that. You just played the beta, so it won't even be ter- technically early access or August beta it's of the year. <laughs> <laughs> See that? <laughs> slash I don't care. And the- beta of the year doesn't matter to me. It's my favorite thing. Yeah, I mean, so so <laughs> that, many for that, so many people were convinced that Destiny was just going to be this incredible me, thing. It brought me back to video games. Like, mm-hmm. I took a couple months off, and that was the thing. It was like, all right, let's oh, go. Yeah, that, cause you, that was that alpha. You I'll help you uh-huh. guys out by eliminating the long dark because really? because the Ethan only really yeah, but there's only a sandbox mode available. All right, the storyline is not okay. in, built in yet. That's not yet. And yet. you um you literally hit a wall within about. I thought wolves kill you. <laughs> they do, and they you just well. <laughs> You know, you just kind of hit a, a, a. I can't do anything. Oh, you can't else. do anything new, but just survive until it's over. And okay. even that's impossible because the amount of resources that are oh, put you, in the world so you'll for you. you just die. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And so it's a really good uh, visceral experience in terms of uh, playing the game. The art style is really great. Um, but yeah, in terms of ac- actual playability, if you don't like sort of go in and read the wiki and learn every little bit oh, of that, okay. you're just not going to squeeze every bit out of it yet. Just yet. Just Unlike these, there's there's other games here that are a lot stronger. But it's, it's I can see that it's certainly a game you need to support because it just looks great, and it's actually kind of spurred off a couple of other games, uh, like Firewatch is another one that looks a lot close to that. Okay, which looks really that's, really good. It's by somebody. That's I can't remember who it's by, but I've I've kind of been keeping track of it. They've done some other games. I forget who they are. I think it yeah, might be the West Coast. They're in Washington, I think. Oh, whatever. Um. Okay, so Starbound, what I know is like the, doing those daily yes. builds or weekly builds. Okay, or? so nightly builds. Nightly builds. And and the fact that they, the fact that a developer will allow you to play their game as they develop it is pretty balls awesome. I mean, it's just crazy. Balls awesome. Oh yeah, nuclear throne. <laughs> That's another good one. You re- you reminded me of balls awesome. Balls so. awesome. Uh, the, well, and and the, the only the only issue with playing those nightly builds is that it has a very good possibility of breaking your character, which is done to mine now as I yeah. was recording it. Still, um, but still, the fact that um, they're they're adding a lot of uh, progression quest progression into the game that was really missing, which was really kind of what a lot of people um, didn't like about the game. But they still you don't have to do the quest; you could still roam around planets. But you, uh, the fact that you can do. Uh, just about anything you can the, your ship upgrades now so you can actually get a much bigger ship as you progress uh, throughout uh, the worlds are uh, completely different they've added a couple new characters uh, they're really working on the combat system whereas instead of the uh, like let's say a mob comes at you it doesn't have to be occupying your same space it can actually be in front of you and still attack you which was re- which is really way better than it was before because you you were kind of OP before Um so, but I would say that Star- Starbound, and compared to what it was at this time last year, is night and day. Yep. That's not, I mean, I've, I've gotten that impression just from kind of following the news and seeing other friends pick it up. Mm-hmm. Do you feel stronger about Starbound or RimWorld? I feel strong about both. Okay. I mean, I, I really do. RimWorld is a you could play it now, and it's a pretty much a complete game. Um, it reminds it, me a lot of Prison Architect. Yeah, it's it, it, the style and a little bit of the architecture is kind of like Prison Architect, but uh, the fact that Prison Architect or the fact that RimWorld uh, every character has their own unique traits and you have to just live with it. So like, let's say one guy's like super lazy and you have to like, you just have to have somebody to do a job and you send him over and he starts mining and he just ends up dying. <laughs> You're just screwed. I mean, there's, there's so many scenarios in which you can just completely screw yourself or it just creates so many random comedic moments. Um, and there, and there's an AI storyteller built into the game that sort of brings the difficulty as you like gather. characters that are naked. If you don't clothe yeah. them, they, uh, it changes their mood. Yeah, their moods are all affected. and It feels sexier. Well. <laughs> <laughs> Probably. Yeah. <laughs> and Liberating. It's, yeah. Just, it's just a really fun game that, like, honestly, if I wasn't recording it for my YouTube channel, I would just get lost in it. The fact that I have to stop, like, after 20, 25 minutes is the only thing saving me from just playing this game all the time. What about Timber and Stone? Uh, I just recently 
got back into it, they've sort of overhauled it quite a bit. I haven't really dove into it yet. Um, it's not on our list. So. It's not on the list. I didn't vote for it um, simply based on the fact that the development was kind of dark for about Stall. six months. Yeah. There was They were definitely doing stuff behind the scenes, um, but the, in terms of actually being able to play it as a regular user uh, just did not exist. Not to the point that Star World or Starbound and, and Wormworld did. Cole, yeah. your impressions of the Destiny beta? It made me really excited for the okay. game okay. and set me up for the huge disappointment that it okay. was. That's fine. I, for Same some here. reason, I thought you were indifferent to the beta, so I just want to make sure. No, I had a lot of fun in the beta. It All was right. good, but the result of that. And if it comes down to us voting That's out taste. Starbound or Rome World, I can make a choice, but let's just not get there yet. Uh, yeah, I mean, I Game gonna... Beast took over for a little while and Bro for like. Broforce, I'm more impressed with their constant updates, and because they just keep adding characters and adding. Well, they actually they actually follow through with what they were kickstarting. Yep. Like it's 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 kind of rare for somebody to do that. Nuclear Throne isn't really any different than last year. I didn't think so. But they're still kicking ass. So so one one question I want to ask, just to clarify the award a little bit, is your experience at you cannot wait to play the final version is really how well, i read it is we we keep talking about how you know we love starbound we love rim world and we love bro force because they updated all the time is what makes the game good the fact that it's updated or is them updating it all the time does that make them a better is that more of like a reason why they should be like a, a top indie studio i don't think rim world has actually really updated as much as let's say starbound um it's just a really good game and I don't think Bro Force is actually that much fun, even with the. Uh, what are they adding other than just new characters? That's what the game is. <laughs> Bro Force is Bros. fun. You're wrong. I think it's, it's fun. fun multiplayer. It's fun. Yeah, I don't. We played it once together on a uh, on a ho night, but I just yeah. don't know. I just I keep it. looking at Destiny, thinking that it's just it's kind of sticking it's out for me as a sore thumb, because that's kind it, of what you expect out of a major studio. Yeah, but I, I, I but I also, really but I also but agree with you guys that yes, it was the reason why a lot of you yeah. went next gen, mm-hmm. and why I just desperately wish it came out on PC. But now I'm kind of glad that it didn't because I didn't waste money on a new console because you, of your disappointment. Where are you, Coop, between Bro Force and Gang Beasts? I like Gang Beasts this year because they finally made it playable and they seem to be making progress with it. Um, yeah, like I said, Bro Force's support, like. I, I'm glad, like, like but all of these, I'm glad. I'm glad I got them early. I think I like where Gang Beast is going. I think Bro Force is a better game right now mm-hmm. than Gang Beast. Which think, one? Can, which the one? learning curve on Gang Beast is kind of high mm-hmm. to figure out how to have fun with it. Okay. Yeah. I mean, I think I've got more Bro Force support than Gang Beast, but yeah, I'd pick Gang Beasts. Um, you would pick Gang Beasts. Uh huh. It really kind of came on the last quarter of the year, I guess. Um, I mean, I just Bro Force is just more my style. It's just sure. a personal preference thing. That's that's the that's the kind of Bro Force is the game that I wanted to build myself. I would lean towards Bro Force. Okay, I'm okay with w- relaxing on Gang Base. I think it will have its day. And now I can eliminate one. Get rid of Starbound. Okay, um, okay. I like simply based on the I, fact that um, I know exactly what to expect, uh, whereas RimWorld came out of nowhere okay uh, well i like destiny there because to the well to the defense of the triple a beta the halo 5 beta was boring yeah um no i understand why you guys yeah. are yeah no i totally i do. guess my question with worm world is like how do you feel about their plan going forward like i feel they, very strong about it i mean are they communicative and mm-hmm. yeah okay yeah so i mean honestly they're they're i'm not I'll, gonna pull I'll, a destiny on you no or a <laughs> space based df9 i hope not I'll talk about okay. Starbound a little bit later, but I, I just really, RimWorld for me, in terms of the fact that I play a lot of early access and I really keep my, my finger on the pulse, the fact that it just came out of nowhere for me and I just immediately plopped down the money as soon as I saw the, the, the footage of it and immediately got my return investment for it is very rare because I've really invested a lot in Starbound and there has just been a big lull. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. Until, right. until oh. recently. Okay, yeah. okay. All right. Um, hang out. We're gonna we're gonna keep going. Um, <laughs> so this is, I mean, Destiny's my that's that's 
it's kind of head and shoulders. I'm for me. I'm I'm totally fine with Destiny winning this because it just be, be the fact that it made such. You made an a impression. funny face, Aaron. I did make a funny did. face. He farted. I, I don't think there's, right. there's, there's <laughs> the, I, man, outside, the man that has played the most friend. Destiny right. made a funny outside, face. Outside of Jordan, I don't think anybody else here well, really has experienced Room World. So. Well, like a, a number of things have already been eliminated that I actually played. I didn't play Rim World. I did play Bro Force. I mean, the the excitement I think that you have for Rim World, I feel eclipses the excitement I had for Destiny. That's fine data. with me. I mean, honestly, yeah. they. I mean, that's fine. And so I guess I, I feel funny about Destiny being yeah. beta of the year. I was year. betting the fucking farm after the beta, so the beta was great. I honestly <laughs> wish that this was separate. It got me excited, yeah. I really wish these were separate categories. My beta categories. experience could not have been better. But as we said earlier about like you can't, well, you can't wait to play the final product. I guess that was true of yeah. the Destiny beta. I couldn't wait to play the final I product. I drop five hundred dollars. Yeah. It's really, it's, <laughs> yeah, you couldn't, it's really hard. I spent thirty on Wormworld and and. Came out okay, not five hundred dollars short. Thirty dollars on that? Oh yeah! Wow! Whoa! Yeah. <laughs> He's only a fan of games for like frugal. $3 frugal Jason time. spent thirty dollars on something. Yeah, I haven't paid thirty dollars for like a big full release game. All right, <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's still thirty. Okay. I, I think Jordan we're prefers o- free to play games. Oh yeah. <laughs> I think Rim World gods do, but I say I think we're okay with Destiny. I am, yeah. All right, yeah, I'm over Rim, it. Yeah. RimWorldGame.com, check it out. Funny face retracted. Early access beta of the year goes to Destiny. Hey, it went a positive award. Good job, Destiny. What it wasn't. Finally. And runners-up, uh, RimWorld and Broforce. 